Hi, my name is James Clem. This chapter can be a, a tender chapter. Uh, last thing we want is post-treatment sensitivity. Having done adhesive dentistry for years, <laughs> I remember the earlier days of where I would even place Dical on a dentin. Then I transitioned into uh, glass ionomer and I thought that was hot, like major evolving of technology. Then full etch. I remember the full etch. Wow. It's still a great process. It's still the standard. Optibon FL is still the standard. That's a full etch system. Um, we know they operate and work really well. You have to be really critical with your technique. Then we have the self etch systems. They're great. Most people use self etch. Less sensitivity, less probability of sensitivity. However, it's how we treat the dentin. We can't over dry the dentin. During the impression period, we don't want to over dry our dentin. We, you know, we don't want to desiccate our dentin where the adonal blast gets sucked up that adenal tubule and then all of a sudden you're gonna have post-treatment sensitivity. Some people like Gluma or a, a similar conditioner to desensitize their dentin, that's great. There's a lot of great desensitizers on the market. Probably the best combination is to get one or two bonding systems down and then don't mess around with it too much. Each one is different. I'm still of the position where I like to optimize my enamel with selective phosphoric etch on the enamel.